Welcome to the OLV Data Reflection for Thursday, December 9th. Today, the Universal Church celebrates the feast day of St. Juan Diego. He was born in 1474 in an area which is now part of Mexico City, Mexico. Not much is known about his life from his birth until his conversion to Catholicism, but at the age of 50, he felt the call of Jesus Christ. And St. Juan Diego was baptized and received into the church by one of the first Franciscan missionaries who came to Mexico. Seven years later, on this day in 1531, St. Juan Diego was on his way to morning mass. And on his way, the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to him on Tepeyac Hill, which at the time was the outskirts of Mexico City. She asked him to go to the local bishop and to request in her name that a shrine be built on top of the hill at Tepeyac. Now, St. Juan Diego did go, but the bishop did not believe him, mostly because he was a poor indigenous Indian who had very little education. But the bishop concluded his conversation with St. Juan Diego that he would need a sign to prove that the apparition was true. So St. Juan Diego left, and a few days later, on December the 12th, St. Juan Diego returned on his way by Tepeyac Hill. And there the Blessed Virgin Mary appeared to him again and told him to climb the hill and to pick the flowers they would find in bloom. He went to the top of the hill and although it was winter time, he found roses flowering. He gathered the roses and took them to Our Lady who carefully placed them in his mantle and told him to take them to the bishop as proof. When St. Juan Diego went to the bishop and opened his mantle, the roses fell to the ground, but what remained impressed in the place of the flowers was an image of the Blessed Virgin Mary under what we now call the title Our Lady of Guadalupe. The bishop now had his sign. So a chapel was built on the hill in Tep at Tepeyac, and that image of Our Lady of Guadalupe was placed in this chapel. And because of his devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary and the deepening of his faith, St. Juan Diego lived the rest of his life as a hermit in a small hut near that chapel. He cared for the church and the first pilgrims who came to venerate the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe. He died in the year 1548 and was buried in that first chapel. The first reading for today's Mass in honor of St. Juan Diego comes to us from the first chapter of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. It reads, Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. These powerful words of St. Paul apply so well to St. Juan Diego because his witness is one that always reminds me that no matter our age, our state of life, our education, our wealth, we need to be ready to respond to God's will in our lives. He was a poor peasant, 57 years old, but he was chosen by God to encounter the Blessed Virgin Mary and given the special mission of not only building a chapel, but also giving the church the title of Our Lady of Guadalupe as not only a source of inspiration, but also a way for us to know the Blessed Mother in a different way. And furthermore, it was him who brought about the conversion of millions and millions of people in Mexico. And the image of Our Lady of Guadalupe is still there. And it's still a miraculous image. 
scientific studies have been done to prove that it is truly a miracle what is in this image and how it came to be. But again, it was a poor peasant man who was older, who became the source through which all this happened. So no matter what happens in our lives, no matter our status, God is always calling. And we, for our part, must respond in faith and do what is asked of us. St. Juan Diego and Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. Thank you.